So later this month, the FOMC is going to talk about um, raising interest rates again and hopefully bringing the economy to a soft landing. And I'm really excited about all the turbulence it's causing to the markets because the turbulence is giving me a lot of buying opportunity. And this is the first time I've really paid attention to all the drama that's going on, right? Uh, and I'm really excited for buying opportunities. And I was reading about the last time the Federal Reserve had engineered a soft landing back in 1994. They had raised interest rates a total of 3%. And it made me reflect on what was going on at the time. I was in second grade at the time, and my math teacher was insisting that it was impossible. We were learning about adding and subtracting numbers, and she insisted it was impossible to subtract a series of three numbers. And one of my classmates, who was really smart, he actually end up, ended up competing in math counts and went on to the national competition. He invented a way to subtract three numbers. I don't remember if it made any sense at all now looking back at it, but it was the cleverest thing I ever saw in the world, and our teacher was pretty impressed by it too. And so he showed us how to subtract three numbers in a row. I had another classmate who showed me a magic trick involving dice. He had taken a number of dice in a container and shaken it, and he, he made he was able to control the dice in a way that they always came up a certain number. I still do not know how he did it to this day. Uh, and uh, what else today? Oh, one day um, as we were packing up to go home from school, somebody stepped on my coat and it really upset me. And I got into a fight with him. And my teacher was really upset because um, you gotta understand, when I was a kid, I had all sorts of troubles. And she was just about to uh, write, a, she was actually in the process of writing a letter to my uh, parents about how well behaved I had been that week, or something like that, if I remember correctly, when this fight took place. And uh, she, she wrote a quick sentence at the bottom of the um, letter saying that she was writing all this good stuff when um, she heard the commotion that somebody stepped on my coat and I, I think I swung the coat at him if I remember correctly. And while all this was going on, the Federal Reserve was raising interest rates. Had I been old enough to invest at the time, um, that would have been a great buying opportunity for me, right? Uh, at the time, um, uh, gold, I think, was being held artificially low at $370, uh, $380 an ounce. Obviously, nobody could see that in the late 90s, we had the Asian financial crisis where there was a lot of capital from uh, Southeast Asia into the United States. And as a result, gold crashed to 250 and else, not to mention uh, the UK, uh, uh, Gordon Brown sold off a lot of uh, their gold reserves. And today, Canada has no gold reserves. I wonder which country is going to sell next.